hello good morning good evening or good afternoon sorry for the delay uh, but yeah I'm back with the day 5 uh, for the report development training uh, thank you for your all emails and your patience I was I was a bit busy with my work so let's start today and from the uh, from the part where we left last time if you haven't seen the videos you can go to the playlist and check the old videos in today's video we'll cover three uh, things one would be uh, linking the sales header line in the in the layout section we did it in the in the designer last time and then we will add one more table in our designer which will be the sales line comment I'll, I'll brief you out how it works and then we'll add those sales line comment into the RDLC layout so let's start with uh, grouping our report with the sales uh, between sales header and sales line so just to recall what we did uh, let's open some sales orders and then see uh, our current report output so let's pick another three this time again one zero zero one one zero one double zero five and one zero one double zero nine and let's run our report just to see what uh, what is happening till this point let's apply the filters and preview it so these three actually depends on three different uh, orders the first order had nothing if you remember the second order had one line and the third order had two lines like 1001 has no lines the second one has one line and the third one has two lines but all these three are appearing on the same page uh, irrespective of which document they belong to so it it will be hard because they may be for the different customers so let's try to group it with the uh, sales header okay now grouping seems to be a bit confusing to the people on the layout part so let's try to understand it how these two are linked here so if you see the linking and if you remember the linking that we did is based on the document type and the document number so these two are the unique combination in the sales line based on which we will identify how many lines this order will have against this order number so let's go to the layout and try to uh, replicate this scenario over there so this is my body section which repeats for every line in my data set so if I have five lines in my data set those this this record this uh, row will repeat for five times now I want to kind of uh, club these lines based on the order number that is there right and just now we saw that the sales line is linked with the sales header based on document type and document number of the sales line so let's go here and right click this line where there are multiple dots multiple lines three lines combination and say add group and I'll be adding the parent group because this is the first group so that will always be the parent group now it asks you on which field you want to group on so I know that I need to group by document type and document number but I can only select one uh, just a tip at this point always make sure that you add add group header and group, group footer because they cannot be added later so it's best choice that you added them initially if you don't need them you can delete them at the end of your report so we'll select both and click OK so with this what happened was I got one more column which is document type and here if you see I got two one is for the detail which is the three line and one with the group icon for the document type sales header right so what I'll do is this is the extra column that was added if you need it you can keep it I normally delete it okay now on this the when I when you select here on the row group section it, it highlights the part here if you see on the layout so I need to add two fields on the group that I added so you can go here and go to the group properties and you can add the another field which you want so in my case it's number sales header now number sales header is actually the name that is here number sales header and document type right so I grouped it on document type and document number that you can see here on the group properties now what will happen is the records that will appear will be based on grouping so now as we don't need them I'll not delete them I'll set that visibility to hidden 
the, the you know the group header and the group footer because right now I don't need them we'll be using them maybe in the future so that's it let's save it save the layout and let's run it again and see is there any changes or not still the layout the same that means we missed something so let's go there and see so now when we come back how you will know as a user that the group has been changed you need to have some identification right that maybe uh, after every sales order number the page should break or the new sales order should start from the new page okay so let's go back to the group go to the group properties see the section page break just check between each instance of group that means whenever a group changes you want a new page right click OK save it save the layout and now let's run it so if you see there are two pages generated one contain the one line which is 101005 and the second contain two lines it is not containing header we'll short it out later don't worry about it which contain two lines which are related to 101009 so what is happening is as soon as the group is changing uh, my page is getting break and the record is starting from the next page don't worry about the header we'll short it out just understand the concept of grouping this this particular session is only to understand grouping okay so if you have any questions on the on this grouping part of the video and if you want to repeat it let me know in the comments I'll, I'll go ahead and do that now let's understand the comments if you don't know it so I'll go through it briefly on a document you can always add comments on the lines related to lines so let's say using line comments so I can say that this is my comment for this line which is my line number with item 1920-S okay that is my one comment you can add multiple like this is test comment for same line okay and then you can click okay now let's go back here and add some comments over here also that this is for the 1976 uh, hyphen W and uh, line one of order 101009 right in the same way let's go here line comments for 1964 W and line comment for line number two okay order one zero one zero zero nine all right in this video we will try to put the data which is there on the comments of the line level into the report and in the next video we'll see that on the header also you have a section called as comment okay so if you click on the ribbon you'll see blank because that's the header comments and if you select from line button comments that means they are line level comments now from here let's try to understand how they are linked so if I go here about this page it tells me the linking here which says it is based on the document type the, the number and the document line number that means line number of the sales line will be same as of sales line on this table the document type the sales line and the document number so based on three fields this is linked to the sales line so let's go back to the uh, developer environment R report and let's try to add that so I need to add that but I need to know the table number you can always go there and from about this page you can see the table number as an it's sales comment line but if you don't know it you can always go and check that the, the source table is 44 okay so let's go here and add the table 44 if you see automatically when I add it it is indented to sales line okay and the field which I want from the sales comment line will be the comment 
uh, other fields you might not see based on the, your country localization but these uh, top four five you'll see everywhere okay so I added the comment so let's see the layout and then we will go towards uh, let's see the data set and then we'll go toward adding it to the layout so for seeing the data set what we do is we do about this page we preview the report and we again go about this report now if you see as soon as we added that thing the number of lines increased and why that is if you see for order number 101005 which has one item now I'm getting these many rows the same item and what is that everything what we missed did we miss something think about it this is just a recap of what we did if you see the same kind of comments are repeating for every line so that means we did something wrong in our designer so let's go back and see the properties of this data item did we link it to the sales line no if you don't link it with the sales line then it'll bring all the data for each sales line as we discussed into the last video so it is indented to sales line and here is the link so what is the link that we uh, read over there is the document type uh, number and the line number of the sales comment line here I'll fill the sales line field document type number is linked to document number and line number is so this is here it was not line number my bad it was document line number you can check it there again if you want and line number so this will only bring now the sales comment line related to the that particular order I'll I'll confirm you that that if you go here and if you see the properties you'll see that it is grouped on document line number number and document type the way we grouped it into the report right now okay document type number and document line number okay let's see the data set so before modifying the layout it always suggested that you should be buying in what is there in the lay uh, in the data set if you are not agreeing with the data set then you might have done something wrong somewhere so now you see the 1920s is appearing twice with a simple fact because there are two comments to it okay in the same way the 1009 item number 197s is appearing twice because this is two comments in the same way this is repeating twice even if you see in the output instead of one line I'm getting two lines of the sales line so this is actually the replica of the data set so if your data set is proper then your everything is proper is our data set is wrong right now do you think so because I think my data set is correct I might need to rework on my layout but my data set is correct now before changing the layout let's try to understand it this is my first grouping document type and document number right based on this it looks for unique combination so right now it finds based on these two fields it finds two lines so it is printing two lines whereas with this unique combination it is finding four lines that's why it's printing four lines should we add this number to make it unique if I add this number and if a customer is selling the same item twice if there are multiple sales line with the same item then it will create a problem so the best unique identifier for that is the line number of the sales line so let's add that on our sales line data item which is the line number so this is my unique identifier for my line this is added this is called as oh it was already there oh, no two were added so I'll delete one and this is my line number which is my this now if I think about it my parent group which is grouping the whole report based on the document type and number is actually correct right there is no problem in that part it was bringing everything in but now I need to uniquely identify my sales line what I'll do is I'll add one more group to show my unique sales line because 
let me explain it to you again the last data item on the group last is an the the last uh, you know the last set of the data that you are you want to print as unique so this is what you want to print as unique right right now for each sales line that need to be on those three dotted lines which is your uh, body line everything else should be on some grouping some chart of grouping okay so this should be appearing on that line so actually I have to some way identify if you see now group it based on the line number so till this point these three fields are my on my header which are grouped correctly from here till here it's my sales line the unique identification is the line number which is which have a parent of the order number so for this order and this line number I'll get one line for this order and this line number I'll get one line and the same way this order in this line number I'll get one line so let's go into the layout I think it's a bit confusing but let me know I'll, I'll again rework on it if required I'll add a group now you cannot add it here or right or if you want you can add it here but I'll add it from here it makes sense to me add group now I want to add a child group to my sales header group okay so let's let me rename this this is my sales header group I want to group my lines so I'll add a group which will be a child group I'll I need to group it on line number I'll add again header and footer for the same reason which I told you earlier and I'll delete it now just see the uh, the, the you know the identifiers on on the left hand part the first one is for your sales header the second one is for your first sales line okay so I'll name it as sales line group and then the detail will contain your comments so what I'll do is I'll move all the content from this uh, from the body row cut it and put it on the sales header group header sales line group header sorry sales line group header because I'll get a unique line for each sales line line number and then on my body section I'll merge this you can always do this merge sales and then I'll add an expression either from here as I showed you earlier you can drag and drop here or you can select it from here okay and that if it is 8 then I'll make it a bit small let's say 7 okay now let's close it save it on the designer and let's try to run it again Now this is again printing two lines on the first line which is related to 1005 these are the two line comments okay on the second page for the first line I get two comments and the, for the second line I again get two comments so in this particular session we understand how to use uh, groups how to break pages between the groups how to add multiple tables into the designer and how to print them you know in the layout how to update the layout in the next section we'll add one more table in our layout which will be the sales header comments we want to print header comments which are completely different from the line comments which we will then add into the layout and then see how you know how we will be able to link multiple tables in the layout so in the next video we'll have two tables in our designer itself and we'll try to link them to print them in a set okay if you have any comments views if you don't understand the grouping concept let me know on the comment section I'll revisit the topic again with maybe a simpler example yeah. and if it makes sense please also let me know on the comments I'll be happy to hear from you that's all for today keep watching and I'll be back as soon as possible thank you